خير في اتباع من سلف وكل شر في ابتداء كن سلفيا على الجاده سلفيا على الجاده Respected brothers and sisters, we want to remind ourselves again, as we mentioned in the last khutbah, about the situation with our brothers in Palestine. It is times like this that is paramount to remind ourselves about the asl and usul al deen the foundations of the religion, because that is what would keep us strong. My brothers and sisters, again we repeat, we repeat again the promise of Allah subhanahu wa, subhanahu wa ta'ala in which Allah Azza wa Jal he said وَلَيَنْصُرَنَّ اللَّهُ مَنْ يَنْصُرُهُ and Allah indeed he will help those who help him إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَقَوِيٌّ عَزِيزٌ Allah is strong and mighty أَلَّذِينَ إِنْ مَكَّنَّاهُمْ those who when we establish them give them authority in the land أَقَامُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَآتَوُوا الزَّكَاةَ وَأَمَرُوا بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَنَهُوا عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ they enjoy, they pray the salah, give the zakah, enjoy the good and forbid the evil. وَلِلَّهِ عَقِبَةُ الْأُمُورِ To Allah is the end result of all affairs. This is the promise. We have to make sure we establish this. From helping our brothers, there are many ways. Our brothers and sisters across the globe, not only Palestine, because we forget in other countries. But at the moment, this is the dire one. Yes, the Palestinian situation is the dire situation. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to end the atrocities of those criminals. But we have to remember, you help your brothers and sisters here in UK, in East London, in Leighton, what are you going to do? You're going to give sadaqah as much as you can. Dua, righteous deeds. Because if you're righteous, your dua is strong. Your dua is strong. Amma, you just finished doing haram. Allahumma help my brothers. La, wallahi doesn't work like that. Ittaqillah. It does not work like that. You take this as, an, as, as, an, as a message for you as well. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from his hikmah is allowing this to happen for a reason. And yes, we're repeating some of the stuff last week, I know. But we are going to repeat again and again and again. That we must turn back to our religion. The ayah I quoted, Wala yansuran Allahu, man yansuru. Allah would help those who help him. Allah azza wa jalla will help those who help him. Those who when he gives establishment upon the earth, this is what they do, righteous deeds. That's the whole point. Abdul Jihad, my brothers and sisters. Jihad, yushra lil, yani wasail. Jihad, as the ulama explained, is actually a wasail. It's a means of proclaiming the, the word of Allah on the earth. It's not a raya. It's not yushra for in and of itself, just to fight and spill blood. That nah, is actually for a reason. Where's the proof for that? Because as a Salafi, as a person of Ahlul Sunnah, you have to always have the proof on your tongue. Always have to have the delil and the evidence on your tongue. And there's nothing better than the words of Allah, as we said in the Khutbah al Hajjah, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we should say on the Khutbah every Friday. Khairul Kalam Kalamullah. The evidence is when Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala said, Qatiluhum hatta, Allah Azza wa Jal said, Fight them, Hail Jihad, until there is, hatta, until there is no fitna in the land, i.e., shirk. So that's the, that's the wasila, that's the reason. The reason is so there's no shirk. So jihad and spilling blood and fighting and being in the war and, you know, you know, trading blows and sweating with the enemy, that's not really what it's for. That's a wasila for the end, which is kalimatullahi al let's, let's not let Let's not let our eyes turn off of that. And let's not let our eyes turn off the fact that it is not a battle or a jihad or a yani strive or struggle qawmiya waving the palestinian flag let's not get confused it's not exactly about palestine it, this is an issue of deen this is amrun dini this is a deen issue this is the, the fight between kufr and shirk that's what it is not about palestine palestinian it just happens to be our brothers are just that that's what it happens to be that they're the ones receiving them allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rescue them but it's really the deen, because they say Rabbun Allah. Because you and I, we say Rabbun Allah. So that's what it's about. The issue is always about religion. The religion is always about turning back to Allah. It's not about humanitarian crisis and all of this. Yes, we don't like, you know, wars to happen, you know, un unnecessary casualties. But really, it's about kufr and shirk. Them lot, those Jews, they're waiting for the Dajjal. That's who they're waiting for. They're setting the stage for the Dajjal. 
as it's from the signs of the Qiyamah, that they will settle in that land. To wait for the Dajjal. This is what it is. This is what it is. All these Netflix, these movies, is really for Deen. It's to, it's to destroy, yani to take you away from your religion. It's not about the movie. It's not about Hollywood. It's not about celebs. Really, it's to take you away from your religion. That's all they do. Bal makrulayni wa nahar. Allah said, they plot day and night. You're sleeping. They're plotting. How can we destroy these Muslims? Destroy, destroy us via media. Intellectually. Yani, every single affair. They try to. And Allah says, Bi afwahihim with the, by merely blowing at it. And they, with they're just blowing. Wallahu yutimmu nurihi. But Allah Azza wa will establish his life. So upon us in Layton, upon us here in this masjid, what is upon us? To return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to make dua. And to know that the Nasr is with Allah. Allah Azza wa Jalla says that Allah Azza wa Jal, He has وَلَقَدْ كَتَبْنَا فِي الزَّبُورِ مِنْ بَعْدِ ذِكْرِ أَنَّ الْأَرْضَ يَرِثُهَا عِبَادِيَ الصَّالِحِ Allah said and we have written and يعني, enshrined in this book after يعني, in, the, in the Zubur that أَنَّ الْأَرْضَ the earth is for عِبَادِيَ الصَّالِحُونَ my righteous slaves that's the people who are going to take over and when Fir'aun was chasing Musa when Fir'aun chased Musa and his people were at shock and started to be in doubt they said before you came to us there was a problem or before that the ayah that Musa said to them in Surah Araf Musa said Ya qawm istainu billahi wasbiru inna al-arda lillahi yurithuha man yasha wal aqibatu lil muttaqeen oh my people istainu billah seek help in Allah you want to seek help for your brothers? Seek help in Allah. Wake up Qiyam al Give Sadaqah. Do Dua. Read Juz. Read Ajza. Read Bukhari wa Muslim. Come to the Durus. That's helping your brothers and sisters. Yes. Come to the Durus of Fiqh, Aqeedah, Manhaj. That's helping your brothers and sisters. Lifting the ignorance of the Ummah. This is what is the worst thing that's holding us back. Ignorance. Wallahi. Nowadays, we have Muslims who don't even know who their enemy is. They want to act like the very kuffar. Act like the very kuffar. Act, walk and talk like the very kuffar. Kaif. No wala wal bara nowadays. Yes, wala wal bara. Not also the extreme way. Like some extremists would think. Doesn't mean wala wal bara. Hatta you don't give them their human rights. No. But as in, you're my colleague. Or you're my friend. Yani you're my neighbor. Non-believer. But still, there's still that, that kufr and Islam thing going on. You are a person who is ungrateful to his Lord. And Allah Azza doesn't like that. And I hate what Allah hates. For the kufr that you have. And my, my dealings with you, I'm going to deal with you accordingly. People don't even know this nowadays. And if people now are trying to bring yani, uh, adyan together. We're all brothers in human... La wallahi. Haqq and batil will never be mixed together. So we have to remember, this is what Allah said, uh, Musa said to his people, Istainu billahi, wasbiru, be patient. How do you be patient? Allah tells us, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wallahi, kullu shay mawjoonu fil Qur'an. We don't need sky news, we don't need none of these news outlets to tell us. The moment you hear your Muslims are being attacked, just open the Qur'an. You see all the details of the Yahud, all the details of the Munafiqeen, and the details of what you should do as a Muslim. You don't need to go to nobody. And the shuruhat of the scholars, of course. The explanation of the scholars. How do we have sabr? Allah said, وَاسْتَعِينُوا بِالصَّبْرِ salah." Seek help in patience and prayer. Allah Azza wa Jal, He said to His Rasul, after they were attacking Him and cursing Him, He said that Allah Azza wa Jal knows that which they say to you, Ya Muhammad of Ham. Then Allah orders him, Surah Tuqaf, do tasbih. Look at that. Wallahi, some Muslims today, it's so sad. It's as if, yani when you tell them, Ya akhi, make dua, be patient, you know, make dua, give sadaqah. Is that all? Hakada? That's almost tantamut to kufr. That's almost. Are you going on like Allah Azza wa Jal when He says, do these ibadat and He will help you and remove your enemies? You're saying that's no? Wallahi, that's better than any bullet and rocket you fire. Wa ma ramayta hidh ramayta. Don't you read the Quran? You never threw when you threw, Ya Muhammad. 
will through. Allah is the one who threw those arrows. It was Allah. So through Allah you gain victory. It's easy. Dim sal. And you know what? Another thing a lot of people do, inshallah, which I'll mention in the next khutbah, and they think this is by a way of bringing Nasr to their brothers and sisters. And they forget other things that are much more easier. We have to understand, my brothers, I'm going to mention in the next part of the khutbah, that there's certain things that we do for our brothers, which is what I mentioned, returning back to Allah, the most important thing, ad dua and helping them with every, every, yani every strength you can muster. If you can follow an aid, aid convoy to the borders to help them, then do so. Wallahu ta'ala. Alhamdulillah, wa sallallahu wa sallam wa ala nabina Muhammad. The next part is, unfortunately, we have to clarify some affairs. Or what some individuals think is Nasr li ikhwanihi. Because this is when emotions get lifted up and that's what the enemy wants. The enemy, that's what he wants. He wants the emotions to be lifted. Wallahi, to be honest, I'll, I'll be completely honest. Hatta sometimes, you know you have to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala much during hardship. Well, I had to me, sometimes in my salah, I struggle to focus because I'm so worried about my brothers. I'm sure you guys struggle to pray nowadays. That's how much pain we're in. But we have to calm the emotions down. It's not justification for anything negative. That's why the ulama used to always, they used to always repeat, Al-awatif illam tuqta' bil-shari'a tusbi' awasif. Emotions. If they're not controlled by the Sharia, ah, they'll become waves. <coughs> and then you'll be yani, regretful. Nadimin, regretful of what you've done. From those things is Isha Kulla Khabarin. Is just spreading every single news. Don't you know your very enemies will come to you in the guise of some Muslim? Maybe get one Muslim, Sufaha or Minna, the foolish ones from us, to say something stupid, to stare against the Muslims. Look what this guy is saying, this, uh, he's like this. Is Allah Azza wa Jal, he says, Allah, he says, لا يحب الجهر بالسوء إلا من ظلم. Allah, he doesn't like proclaiming, constantly proclaiming su evil. And Ali radiallahu anhu, he said in the hadith, authentic, authenticated by Al-Albani, in Adab al-Mufrad, he said, La takun He said, Don't become like madayi' constant reporters. Everybody's become a journalist all of a sudden. And you should, يعني, يعني, you should clarify things. And a lot of those news are very hard to clarify. Sheikh Muqbil, he said, If you want to sit with the liars, then read the newspapers. The Prophet وسلم, he said, It is enough in, of a man to be a liar. And you had it for him to speak about everything he has heard. The ulama they say, How can he be a liar like this? Because there's some truth he will hear, but with, if he lets everything go, also he's going to hear some falsehood and he's also going to let that go. So, and he is responsible for that. Second issue, and this is all not to just blame the Muslims, blame the Muslims, this mean, mean, so we can recoup and sort of, you know, this is why, Alhamdulillah, we have the sermon, the Fridays. Shuri' alana al Jum'ah. Jum'ah is legislated for us. So we can address each other and bring things out that need to be addressed. This is our affair. It concerns us. Second issue, protesting. Wa ma adraka ma protesting. Mudaharat. Wa ma adraka ma mudaharat. This protesting thing, my brothers and sisters, if we put emotions to the side, awwal shay. First of all, and I'm not the one to talk about this, because some, some of you in the gathering might look at me, who's this young Somali brother talking about bigger... Nah, this is from the ulama. You can refer to the ulama. The likes of Al-Albani, likes of Bin Baz, Ibn Uthaymeen, Kibar ulama of our times, Fawzan, and others in Somal, in Kashmir, Ahl al-Hadith over there, and the students of knowledge, especially the senior ones from the UK even. They, all, we are, they have all mentioned number one, Protesting is from copying the ways of the kuffar. It's not from the way of the Muslimin. It was actually invented by the French. It was invented in the French Revolution, if I'm not mistaken, somewhere around the 17th hundred. Years ago, anyway. Years ago. In their revolution, they came in protest. 
it was something yani, a'j, a'jami, it was something strange to the Muslim, foreign to the Muslims. Secondly, so you shouldn't imitate. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, for huwa minhum. Whoever imitates the people, then he is from them. Second issue, second issue, is that protests, within it, is a lot of muharramat. Within it is a lot of muharramat. From it being ikhtilat, brothers and sisters, it's close, mixing close to each other. And there's been reports of sisters that have been touched. With Billah, may Allah Azza wa protect them. And har harassment. Of course, this is a large crowd. You know there's something called crowd control that don't exist in protest. Crowd control is a very, very important matter. Don't exist. Yalla, just come out. We have, we have a raya, khalas. And this is the Machiavellian principle. Allah to That the ends justifies the means. We go out, block the road, shout, down, down, down. Go to down the street, block. And the strangest of affairs is it doesn't help much because you're asking the very enemy. You're asking the very enemy. Some of the ulama mentioned this is begging. Begging the very enemy it makes us look more humiliated. The very enemy you're asking. Going to down the street. Instead, you could go to the masjid down the street. You could go to the masjid down the street. But the masajid, not packed as much as the protest. Why do we pack the protest and not pack the masajid? And that's the way. We go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Some third case. People say it's amr bir ma'roof wa nahi an munkar. It's enjoying the good and forbidding the evil. That's an ibadah. That's an ibadah. Wal takum minkum ummatun. Let there be from your nation. يَدْعُونَ إِلَى الْخَيْرِ وَيَأْمُرُونَ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَيَنْهَوْنَ عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ Enjoying the good of the evil is an ibadah. An ibadah is tawqifiyah. It's a standstill. No one is allowed to do any ibadah. You don't raise your hand in a certain way. You don't do it in a certain number. You don't decrease a certain number. You don't do it in a certain fashion as the six points that Ibn Uthaymeen mentioned. The six type of ways it can be an innovation. You don't. إِلَّا بِدَلِيلِ Except with an evidence. Hatta one of the Salaf they mention if you can scratch your head with an evidence, then do so. Why? Because this deen is preserved. We're very strict. Oh, you guys are very rigid. Yes, we are. Don't come close to our deen. You can't bring things into our religion. You want us to be like Christianity? So we can end up with a snowman? And a Santa Claus with a coca bottle? La, this deen is complete. al akmaltu lakum deenakum. Fourth issue. If this was a way of rectifying the Ummah, the Prophet would have done it in fi hal al in Mecca. He would have done it, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He had the ability, so it's sunnah to tarkiyah. He left it out on purpose. He could have gone out and said, "Quraysh, Abu Jahl, ya, let don't leave us, leave us down, down with Abu Jahl." La. Not to mention all the shouting that goes on, all the litter and blocking of the roads. The Prophet said, "You're not allowed to block the roads. People can't. People who live in the vicinity of central London, they can't even go work." Someone would say, ah, forget all of that, akhi. This is a good cause, though. Exactly, the ends justify the means. We belittle these things. Why do we belittle these things? On top of that, no benefit even comes from it. You're going through all of that and no benefit comes from it. And not only that, you don't pack the masjid the same. Mushkilatun azimah wallahi. So other people, they say, akhi, the benefit at least is to make awareness. Ya akhi, awareness, educate the people. Da'wa ila Allah. Shuri ala al Jum'ah. Jum'ah has been made for us so we can make Ibla and speak about the Zionists and speak about the room that they're doing to our brothers. We have Jum'ah. We have books. We have ulama. We have da'wah. We have circles. Alhamdulillah, we are organized by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We don't need to go out in the street like that. Copying the kuffar. I saw a picture when Trump was, uh, his administration almost finished. And there was a picture I saw with Trump and people when they stormed the White House. There was a picture and they say a picture speaks a thousand words. I saw this picture with uh, guards who look like special forces protecting. Then there was barriers there, then the protesters. To me the picture read, you can do whatever you want, just don't cross these barriers. Point I'm saying is a lot of these times they don't care. They're just saying, you know what, protest and shout. Just, you know, don't come near this place. Just don't come near this place. Yaki, we don't need them. Wallahi, we showed the same energy. All of us feel the masad. It's jihan. Look at the way it's packed to the Jum'ah. Asr, let's see who comes here. I know some of you are working, but a lot of, uh, but I'm sure we can get more lines. I'm sure we can get more lines. Fajr. Hatta the Yahud they know, if we pack out Fajr, it's over for the Yahud. Even the Yahud would say from their own tongues. 
It's over for us if you guys pack the masjid. Fourth issue, away from protesting, is that we have to stick with our ulama. Many people, they turn to journalists. Journalists become scholars. This is a big problem. Because this is where the kuffar play tricks now. This is where the kuffar play tricks now. And get you emotional, rile you up. Allah forbid that someone does from us does something wrong. The ulama or the poet he said, لا يسرح الناس فوضى لا سرات لهم ولا سرات لهم الجهالهم سادوا والبيت والبيت لا يبتنى إلا له عمد ولا عماد إلا ترسع أوتاد فإن تجمع أوتاد وعمدة لمعشر بلغ الأمر الذي كادوا. He said, لا يسرح الناس فوضى. Chaos would never correct the people or would never be corrected. Uh, so long as they don't have no leader, no scholar. Allah said, Allah wa Rasula wa ulil amri minkum. The Mufassirin said, ulil amr, obey Allah and his message and those in authority. They said, those in authority is the scholars and the, and the rulers of each respective, respective land. So he said, no corruption would be uh, yani, saved when the people don't have no leader. And they will have no leader if juhalum sadu, if the foolish ones are leading them. And he said, a house is built upon foundations. A house is not built except upon foundations. And it won't have foundations unless it has pillars. So if you find the pillars and the foundations put together, the ma'ashar in balgha al-amr al-ladhi kadu. May Allah Azza wa reward you all for, take, uh, for being patient and listen. I've taken too much time. This is for us to gather our affairs. And remember, the nasr of Allah, la mahala, wallahi will come. Wallahi, these people will be exiled, exiled from this place. It will be exiled from this place. I can say wallahi, can I? The ulama, they say, you can say wallahi on something in the future if it's already been prophesied. I can say wallahi, the jail is coming. Do you understand? I can say wallahi, Palestine, it will be rid of these khubatha. Have no doubt about that. You just stick to your deen. You just stick to your deen. May Allah Azza wa guide us and protect us. Take these criminals out of there. May Allah Azza wa preserve us. And may Allah Azza wa give us victory. Wallahu ta'ala ala wa sallam wa barak ala nabina Muhammad wa aqeemu salam.